this big old metal workbench is coming into here. Clean the rust off that. Chop the legs off it a little bit. That patch where it's going there is not level. Some little adjustable feet. It's super heavy. I had to use the crane truck to get that halfway into here to build up a little platform that I can put some wheels on. Jack it up. Wheel this into here. Tidy off this bench. That'll be good. She's good. Job done. Well done. First thing we'll do is tidy that up a little bit. A little, uh, little daggy bit on there. I'll hit it with the flap disc, eh? Let's put it in the vise. This seems a bit high. Bench will be going down a little bit. What are we going to do? Hit it with a flap disc. Yeah, sure. Let's try the old rejuvenation method. Have you guys seen this rejuvenation method? Like if you want to get a bit more life out of these things? You just run this edge here on a bit of concrete or something. Well, my concrete's not tough enough to be able to handle that sort of stuff. But... Oh, I found an old brick. An old paver. What do we got? What do we got out here? Yeah. Don't try this at home. Sure as eggs. Sure as eggs. That's going to make some cement dust. Where's my gloves gone? Safety oh. first, this will stop all the cement dust getting into my lungs. No, it won't, but... The story I'm telling myself. Hey. Not all these tools are battery tools these days. Sometimes they still have to plug in. Well, it's not a battery one, it's got this tail on it. Yeah, I don't know if it works. Let's get this a go anyway. Good enough for me and Bobby McGee. All right, why don't you just take that little uh, sharp edge off there? Oh, okay. We've got a vice. Next thing is though, what the problem is, no problem, not really a problem. Now we're going to put the legs on. A little clean up here. 
Look at the old spanners go. I'm feeling these nuts are the exact size. I've got a spanner for it. Yep. I knew it. Exact size. So, we come to the stage where we put the legs on. Feet. We sort of finish this finish this uh, welding table project. We've still got to still got to sand it all back, and I'll take this off to do that. And I'll sand it all back. I had to sand a little grind a little spot off here to do some welding for these feet yesterday. How about we put these bloody legs on? Get them back down on the ground. And we can sort of move on to another project for a while. I mean, I don't need to be doing all that off right now. I know it's nice too, but better off putting the woof up first so that it doesn't get any rain on it and rust it straight away. Put a little tiny bit on here, tiniest bit. And then I'll wind them up down. I'll, of course, pick the ones with the best welds for the front. Move it away, isn't it? The lock nuts that I'm putting on, put them down on the front. I'll work with them later. That's not bad, that's not bad. Those are the back ones. Got a bit of a curved side and a flat side on these lock nuts, so. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. I've got to cut a little tiny piece of uh, rubber to go under these so they don't sort of uh, scratch the paint on the bottom or um, rust on the, I don't know. I just thought if I have them on rubber, it might be better. Might help absorb a little bit of the, uh, they're not quite uh, true. Job well done. Okay, guys. I just realised now. I, uh, I, I haven't shown you how I made these feet, and uh, I worked it out. I worked it out why I didn't show you. There was a uh, first first job out, first job in the morning, and uh, the footage was a bit shaky. Um, and it's not my fault. It wasn't my fault. Um, it's the camera's fault. It's always got to be someone's fault. Uh, the camera is to blame uh, because. No, it's still my fault because I didn't turn on the uh, rock steady image stabilization. So I'd sort of discounted that uh, that track, and I realised, um, oh, that's the one where I made the uh, made the feet, or showed where I'd made the feet. So anyway, that, I'll just show you this a little bit. That'll make it'll make sense. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's just too much information. Uh, that is not something I'm normally doing a lot of. Too much information. You can be the judge of that. Oh, you've still got a bone here. You get a bone and two coconuts. You're in the Bermuda Triangle for dogs, aren't you? Come on, let's, let's not muck around. Let's get a few jobs in before breakfast. We're going to put the feet on a welding table. You remember? This was only a week ago, Maggie. You remember, don't you? Not like a week in dog years is like seven weeks. I suppose, suppose maybe if you think of it like that. Um, those were a bit small, so I was looking at all sorts of different ways of uh, of modifying them. I did have initially. I was gonna have something like that and weld it to that, or bolt it through that. Um, then I found those, and I thought, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have those? But there was only five, and I already welded the washers in for these. And uh, then I thought about something like this. That's basically what I went for it. I've welded that in there with the nut on the bottom. So they basically end up something like this. 
In fact, this is what I knocked up last night off camera. You can see where I've welded them on here. And of course the ones that I initially were, was looking for to do this project, I knew I had some of these somewhere. And these would have been alright. Maybe they might not have been as heavy enough as I wanted, but the, I know that the, the bolts here were heavy, heavy, heavy enough. But uh, anyway, we've made these now. We've stuck a little bit of paint on them. Oh, don't look at that weld. Eh, it was dark. I'm making excuses, aren't I? So, anyway, these, these will be fine. These will be fine. So, I've made those up there. I'm just going to stick those, those onto there. And let this thing down onto the ground. The problem why something like this wouldn't have been... I needed something about this sort of size or not too much bigger than this because... Otherwise, it'd be sitting off the edge of the concrete anyway. Um, oh, a little bit of room here. I don't, want to be, oh, I don't want to be right on the edge of the slab. So, um, yeah, so this, this is going to work out perfect. All right, we'll stick a little bit of this Nicolandi C's. Put a little bit of that on there so it goes up into the pot of It won't need much. Okay, we're going to put these feet on now. Put this table down on the ground. A little more stable, sturdy than it's ever been. Where are we going to put you guys? Put you guys over here, eh? See what you can see from over here. Don't listen to the fan. He doesn't know. Oh yeah, you can see? Yeah? Alright. Cool, cool. Off we go. Okay, what's the plan? Have you seen the one yet? Where's my special tool? Where's my special tool? Work in this one? Look at that! <laughs> yeah, baby. Might be a disaster. I don't know if this thing's rated to lift this bench. It's rated to lift cars, but it might not be rated to lift the bench. Uh, let's have a look. Fast acting. Feet on you. You want? It won't be not enough distance to drop it. Because we're using a scissor jack, we might be right. right. Sort of lining up just on that line. We'll see if we can try and just come inside there a little bit. See if we've got room to take that back that way. How's that look? Uh, we got enough room to come down. We'll soon see, hey? We'll soon see. Alright, here we go. Down we go. Looking like it, eh? 
Righto, let's go. Hmm, so what we've got now is that one's not on. That one's not on. How badly unlevel is my concrete? Hmm. Lucky I put these leveling feet on, eh? Someone's already made it. That's the coolest thing ever. That's deserving of a paint job now. I'm gonna have the last bit of paint. That's gone away. In the toolbox. That's awesome. It's done. Now yeah, we've got to lock up those lock nuts and we're done. That's it. on there. We had to jack that back corner there up as much as, well, that's as long as the thread is really. It's still fully threaded in. Um, I would have liked a little bit more like this end here to come up a fraction, like yeah, four or five mil to get it like level, but haven't got enough in that in that one there. But other than that, we're all good. Gee, I didn't think that, that slab was so unlevel. <laughs> I mean, I did make it with some fall on it, but... Yeah, look at that. Not bad. Get the old vice bolted on. Yep, we're good. Alright, cool. We'll come back and do some work on this. <laughs>